Wife said, I have a small dick during a fight. <laughs> Hello, folks. Me, 31 male, and my wife, 26-year-old female, have been married for a year, and ever since that, we've been having a lot of fights. In your mind, imagine the last heated argument you had with your girl. Marvin, you got a little-ass dick. Think about it. Really picture her telling you. At that moment, when you're heated, get in it. She said you got a small dick. What, what would Marvin do in that situation? I would be devastated. I, you would I, be devastated? I would be devastated. <laughs> I'd be really sad and... and uh, sad. Wife said, I have a small dick during a fight. <laughs> Hello, folks. Me, 31 male, and my wife, 26-year-old female, have been married for a year, and ever since that, we've been having a lot of fights. One year already, a bunch of fights. It is always an emotional outburst from her where she is crying profusely, telling me how bad of a person I am, shouting and slamming doors on my face. For the last one year, when she went into her emotional outburst mode, I would shut down mentally and it would take me two or three days to recover to even talk to her. She keeps saying I'm not there for her emotionally when she is low and sad, but how can I be there for her when it is always an emotional outburst and pretty much telling me how bad of a person I am? I told her so many times, please be calm and communicate your issues calmly, but that is never the case. Her discussion of her issues start with emotional outburst. Last night we had a big fight and during the fight she said I have a small dick. <laughs> that she wishes if she was having sex with somebody... Oh, my God. That she wishes if she was having sex with somebody who has a bigger dick who could make her <laughs> orgasm. I was taken aback by this as it came out of nowhere. <laughs> she also proceeds to say, why are you acting surprised? Don't you know you have a small dick? <laughs> Life must be difficult with a small dick. She did not say that. That's what it says there. This hurt me so much. And I said I don't want to be with her any longer. And I want to do it. Oh, Why are you getting a divorce? He said I was a small dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This hurts me so much, and I said I don't want to be with her any longer, and I want a divorce. The next day, she has been apologizing profusely. She told me she said all that deliberately to hurt my feelings to get a reaction from me. Who would even, say, who would even get so nasty deliberately? No. Two weeks before this, when we were having a good time and having sex... I just passed a comment in an amusing way that she has loosened up compared to the year before as it was a struggle for me to put it in back then and now it goes in much easier and we continue <laughs> to have sex. <laughs> she is now accusing me of calling her loose when I said it in an amusing <laughs> way whereas she said I had a small dick to hurt me deliberately. I want to forgive her. She has been apologizing profusely but I feel like it, it has done irreparable damage to my confidence and I can't see myself being intimate with her again. Lately, even before this incident happened, I've had so much resentment towards her because of her emotional outbursts and how rudely she talks to me that even I have started to raise my voice and answer back in the same way she does. I already have so much resentment towards her and with this small dick comment, I just want to call it quits. What should I do? Is there any way to recover from this? There's two, ed there's two edits. So edit number one. You guys have been asking me what are the kind of things that caused her to lash out. These are some of the examples. Okay. Good, because I was taking the same way. I'm like, dude, she's fighting about everything. Like, I'm taking everything with a grain of salt Give here. Something, yeah. In the first, in the first few months of our relationship, she always wanted to hold my hand and be lovey-dovey in public. I said, holding her hand in public is making me self-conscious. She got very upset and created a scene out of it. I know I was wrong here. I never made that mistake again. Still to this day, she says I'm not a good husband because I refused to hold her hand almost two years back. I never did that again, by the way. Number two. One weekend, I told her we were meeting my friend and his wife for lunch. She got pissed off that I said yes without consulting her. She was half-heartedly getting ready and was pissed off, to which I, I said, you can stay, I will go. She was enraged that I said that and started a big fight. My friend and his wife were already at the restaurant. I said it would be rude to cancel at the last moment, so I went alone. She was fuming the whole time that I left her there, ooh, that I left her there and went without her. And when I got back, it was one of the biggest fights we've ever had. It still scares me how bad it was thinking about it. I have apologized and have always consulted her since. Even to this day, she recounts this incident and says I don't give her importance. This was one year back. Mm. I try to do my best. I always help her around the house. I cook, I clean, I do laundry. Every time she wants to go out, we go out. It is never enough. I'm always the bad guy. I have tried to amend my mistakes, but every time she recounts all these incidences, all these incidents and portrays me as a bad partner for incidents which have happened almost one and a half to two years ago. 
Yikes. Is there more? Or is so, so <laughs> the first comment goes, this relationship sounds miserable as hell. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Yeah. So what do you think? I... When you were reading this, I'm like, how old are these people? Because they sound like well, That's why I started. I, yeah. So it's 31 and 26. The guy is 31. 31 the and woman 20, is 26. 26, yeah. It sounds like something that would happen to fucking people in their early 20s. Like, very immature. This does not seem sound... Like, obviously, clearly, it's not a healthy relationship. But all serious jokes aside, I don't think... Let's address the issue. Yeah. So I don't think there's an excuse. doesn't matter how upset you are, how mad you are, fights... It, etc you don't have the right to talk to your partner in a manner that degrades them makes them feel like shit and she even admitted she's like oh i said this to hurt your feelings but it's like that's not how you should go about an issue about a fight like if i have a disagreement with you i try to bring the dis- the issue at to, to the front and explain it and address it and see how we can mitigate it and, and overcome it not i'm going to say something to hurt your feelings because i want to hurt you that's not the goal it shouldn't be the goal. Do you think that maybe she took the comment of having a loose... Yeah, could be. As Because uh, he goes, oh, I, I was doing it as a joke. But in her mind, she's like, that's not something you joke about. Yeah. You know, like, like, you just don't say it. Right. Like, that's not a comment you just say at all. Especially to a woman. You know, so she that, probably yeah. took that opportunity being mad, probably just kind of brushed it under the rug. And then and she then blew up. She blew and, up like, and then she said, here, yeah. bitch, your dick is small. <laughs> But he thinks she said it just, he thinks there's a little sense of truth to it where she actually does believe that. Because if she didn't, if he had a huge dick, then this wouldn't be any, this well, wouldn't be any, I, any, something you could I say. have a feeling this guy does have a small dick because I, now he's he's self-conscious. Because yeah. like, dude, I don't have the biggest dick in the world. But it's like, it's all right, yeah. you know? Like if a girl tells me you're small, I'm like, all right, fuck you, bro. Like I know there's smaller dicks out there. So I'm happy with my meat. You, you know you don't have a small dick. Yeah, so I'm yeah. happy with my meat. Yeah. In it's not general. huge, but I know it's not small. So right. someone be like, "Oh, you got a little ass dick." That just means you've had way bigger dicks than me, and that's yeah. kind of scary for me. If anything, what the fuck? Out? Yeah, yeah. Kudos to you, right? Type so, shit. So then, you know? obviously, there's a sense of truth to it. So she said it. Maybe she said it because, oh, he called me this about my pussy a fucking week ago. So now I'm gonna say this. But obviously, there's a sense of that she believes it. That there's a sense of truth to it in her mind. So, <sighs> but it's still just that, that, that it's not okay to say that, even if you did call me. Uh, Say something, Loose. yeah. So you you go low, I go lower. I don't know. That's a, I don't think that's a healthy way to kind of navigate through a relationship. Yeah, because, I think. Yeah. You know. No, because then now next thing then he's gonna say something that is even more offensive and derogatory. So it's like, are we in a relationship? Are we together? Or are we just opponents? I mean, you know? I'm taking everything that he says with a grain of salt because you have. You know, to, we don't course. have our side. However, however. Um, given what he says and given his effort, at least, and yeah. this is if he's not a you know a, a manipulator and he's not a narcissist, whatever. Mm-hmm. I think that um she is very ins- she's insecure. Mm-hmm. She has a lot of issues, in the sense where she's like, the smallest little thing has to become some sort of problem. When he's like, listen, like okay, I'm I'm sorry, you know, I I didn't love the I didn't like the lovey dovey shit. So okay, let me change that. Like you know, and that's all part of relationships. Like you know, sometimes you have little arguments or you maybe you have things that. You learn about each other that doesn't really mesh. So then you discuss it. Like, hey, I didn't like how this happened. Or, you know, I wasn't cool when you did this. Yeah, it's yeah. like, okay, well, we're talking about this. I won't do it again. Seems like he did that. Right. Where he's like, okay, I won't do it again. We'll do this now. Yet, why are we still talking about it mm-hmm. a year later? Well, that's another thing. Yeah, like if, if, if you're bringing up stuff from a year, year and a half, clearly you haven't gotten over it. And it's like, that's not how any healthy relationship should work. Like if we have a disagreement... We cure the disagreement, we, we come to an agreement, we move on. This is not something that you're going to have to be able to hold over my head for the next two, three, four years. Because no one wants to walk around in a relationship like that. Oh, if we have a disagreement now, she's going to bring up something from fucking three years ago. Who the fuck wants to be with somebody like that? But the other thing is, like, th- like they've only been married for one year. And they have this many issues already. And it seems like maybe uh. they were dating for two, because he did mention something about two years, like one or two years ago. So married for one year, say that they were dating for a total of two, one year being married. So oh, uh, th- let's that, say three. Let's yeah. let's give them the benefit of, you know, rolled over from two, maybe two-ish, sure. right? Even then, dude, like, did all of these problems or, like, the way that she's been reacting, was this, did it just happen all of a sudden now after they got married or... Well, I, you got to know the person you're dating. And it seems sure. like he got married to her not really knowing who the fuck she was. Because those are like habits that you would, would have picked off. Bingo. Super quickly. 
Right. Like, I would have noticed that shit from a mile away. And then I would have been like, get the fuck out of here. This right. is for me. So what is it that's, that's happened ever since? Or, or, like, how quickly was this marriage? Or is it the typical type of relationship that you feel like you need to be with someone because that's all you know and you're comfortable with that person, Could even be. though it's a terrible relationship? So you get married, you tie it down, and then you wonder why divorce rates are at 50%. Yeah. For first time marriages, and it's like, well, did you even do your homework, or did you just get married because you thought you had to get married to the person in front of you at that moment? Sure, sure, sure. And I think that that's a big problem with, I guess, social pressures these days. I mean, I think that we're in a very different situation. I mean, I feel like we're both in very happy and healthy relationships. Absolutely. We're already entertaining the idea of marriage proposing, and I think that's coming very soon for both of us. Sure, right. Um, as opposed to the comments that we've been getting on the fucking, I don't know if you've seen <laughs> oh, the fun. one of um. The post that was going pretty viral right now, I'm like, oh, uh, guys, I'm not ready. When ah, they, yeah. <laughs> they, don't, they don't get married to the person they love. They yeah, get married yeah, to the yeah, person that yeah. when they're ready. Yeah. Um, everyone thought that we're being assholes, that we're like, oh, poor girls. Like, they're laughing at, at poor women having to wait and not get married. And <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm tagged in the video, so I'm reading oh, all this. I'm responding yeah. to all these people sometimes. Okay. And it's like, listen, like, we're not laughing at the fact that we're wasting women's times. We're laughing at how ridiculous some men are that they actually they actually do this, you know? Yeah. Because it's not like we came up with this theory of, like, oh, yeah, it's usually not who they love. It's it's whenever they're ready to get married, they just marry whoever. It's just, it's happened, I guess, often enough where there's, like, this stereotype. Yeah. So we start talking about it, and, bro, we were getting grilled for it. And it's I'm like, dude, like, we're... we're don't we're, shoot the messenger, dude. Yeah, like, bro, yeah, we're like, oh, you guys are it. dicks. And I'm like, yeah. dude, I'm just kind of relaying the message so y'all can be careful, right? But it, I think that that's a big problem, though, in marriages, because then they're saying, like, oh, well, that's exactly why men get divorced so quickly or why yeah. divorces happen so often, sure. which could be another factor. But it just comes down to, do you really know the person that you're with? Do you really know the person that you're dating? And if you don't, why would marriage be the solution? Why, yeah. why do you think marriage would be the next step when you know that in your current relationship, no matter how long you guys have been together, maybe you guys have been miserable, you guys haven't been able to solve any of your problems, but you guys have been dating for an, a year or two. Where's the ring? You guys have yeah. been together for two years. We're not even healthy. Yeah, you know the ring mean? shouldn't even be on a table. So then, and I think that that's the biggest problem with marriages yeah. nowadays. And poor guy, now he's tied up to this woman. And oh, that relationship is doomed. Yeah, yeah, there's no, I don't see that being salvaged. The, the the amount of fights that they've been having since they apparently started dating or got married or not, started, all that stuff. The fact how she reacts when they everything, when she, yeah, apparently. when she does get mad, it's like that alone is a red flag. Like, and then a lot of times, how somebody reacts when they're at their worst is a really good indicator of who this person is, because there are gonna be some bad times that you too will have, uh, losing a job, getting sick. You know, family member passes away. It's like, how? who is this person when they're at their lowest? And then that's who you have to know that you can date and be with and marry. So, you know, so f for me, it's like, if you don't know, if you cannot tolerate this person at their lowest, it's like, and this might not be the person for you, right? And that doesn't mean that this person is always going to be at the lowest, but if they show you who they are, believe them. And she's shown who he, she is plenty of times. So now this guy needs to say, hey, listen, this is really not for me. I don't even know how you can come overcome this, that comment. Like, if 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 my partner would tell me I that. Was ask, well, uh, s s yeah. Pause for a second. Yeah, pause sure. for a second. And just in your mind, imagine the last heated argument you had with your girl. Imagine you guys, just remember, you're getting a little annoyed right now. You're like, fuck, I remember this moment. Oh, my God. She was giving me shit. How annoying. I can't believe yeah. it happened again, bro. Yeah, how many yeah, times yeah, do yeah. I need to? Okay. Okay, okay, I'm there. Marvin, you got a little ass dick. Think about it. Really picture her telling you. At that moment, when you're heated, get in it. She said you got a small mm -hmm. dick. What, what would Marvin in that situation do right now? I would be devastated. I, you I, would I, be devastated? I would be devastated. <laughs> I'd be really sad. and, and uh, Sad. I'd be sad. Because it's like, I, I, I believe that... <laughs> I believe that to every, even if it's, oh, I'm just kidding, whatever, there's always a little sense of truth to it. So if she said that, then a part of her believed it, right? I don't think she would say it just to kind of make it up completely. But what are you sad about? Are you sad? Because because for someone to say you got a little dick means that they've experienced thicker. Right. So, so, so again, what are you more <laughs> sad about? The fact that she said you got a little dick or that? Well, it goes to what she's we're... She's got bigger dicks than she... <clears throat> it could be both. Okay. Because... Obviously, I'm I'm very confident of of my, my member my me yeah down there. So it's like I <clears throat> I wouldn't be threatened by it or, or felt some type of way. But the fact is that she would say that to hurt me. It's like 
do I not know who I'm dating? Like, so, why would you say that? So, so if she were to tell you, but but let, let's say for example, because she tells you and you're like, bro, I know it's not small. And she goes, Marvin, it's small. Like, then I would be like, small compared to what? Because it's Marvin, like, everyone. <laughs> but that would be a different issue because then it's like, dude, now you're like, to me, it's like you're trying to like drag me. I don't know. Or, I feel or, like that would be fucked or up. Or do you feel like you're you've been living a lie this whole time, thinking you had a normal member? Sure. And yeah, and that too. Because turns out that it's actually yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, like we've been together for X amount of years. It's the first time I'm hearing this, very f- of the opposite of what you've mentioned in the past to me. So it's like, well, where's the lie here? Because something is not true. Right. Um. To me, it wouldn't. Uh, I'm not for anything. It wouldn't make sense for her to say it. Sure. But but if she did, I would be more devastated. That not the fact that. She said you got a small dick. But she did it to hurt you. Yeah, okay. exactly. And it's like, because I, I I believe I know her. I know who the person is that I'm dating. And the person that I'm dating, that I would That'll never be say from this. Left field. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sure. That would be, I would be like, I wouldn't even believe that she would say something like that. So that's essentially where, where my, like, I would be, like, shocked. You know? What about you? Because uh, that's hard for me to imagine. Uh, For I'm, that, for her to tell you? Um, for your girl, I could see her saying this. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I don't, I don't think she would ever say that. Um, I don't know. It, it it'll be hard for me to vi- to visualize it too. So I I think it's difficult for us to do it. Yo, any guys out there that you've got uh your girl has said that that you got a little dick. How did you react? And any girls out there when you said it, do, like, is it really small? What what is a small mm-hmm. dick? Like maybe if it's like four inches, three inches. Is we, it? We've had a couple of uh, dolt from stars. And I think we need to put a a pole. pole. What's a small dick? Yeah. H- how many inches determines what a small dick is? I think less than five is probably. Five is not really small. Let's put the pole. Okay. Put well, it. put it right after. That way, mm. well, as this episode comes out, we'll post it along. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, now now I'm wondering because it's like, what if we just what if we both do have small dicks? Nah, I don't think I'll so. Lie. Maybe uh, you. <laughs> I think you have a small dick. <laughs> you look like you have a small dick. Uh, do you, do you think that your partner could say something? Not, is that the, the worst thing that your partner could say to you, like as a man? Because that's like your manhood, you know. Like we, people joke about it, oh, a little ass dick. But it's like if your partner that you care for, your 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 woman says that to you, is that you feel like that's the worst thing that a woman could? Maybe say not to the you? worst, but that'll be like the that'll top, that'll that'll sting because it's like, dude, we. So here's the way I see it because it's funny when you hear girls talk shit about men who have small dicks, yeah. right? And it's usually after they've already had sex with them. Sure. Well, that's how they would know if you have right. But dick. it's almost like, yo, still smash though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like as a guy, I don't know if if I would really care that much. I think because the thing is, bro, if I already smashed, that means that dude, I got game somewhere else. You know, I'm probably a good looking guy. I mean, it, maybe or, you know, the, everyone gets laid nowadays, and you see some of these people, you're like, yo. But, you know, I mean, if if it were the case, like, dude, maybe you have other things to offer. You you, you better know how to work it. True. But that's how I see it. Like, any girl that's going to be dissing a guy, like, oh, yeah, but he has a small dick, like, you still sucked it. You know? You weren't complaining when it was in your mouth. Fair enough. Right? Or you yeah. weren't complaining when you were on top. Maybe not feeling shit, but you were still riding it. So it's like, are you really want to talk shit and make a comment of, like, oh, you got a small dick? Yeah. Especially, if, like, my girl that I've been with for, like, almost three years or whatever the fuck. Is that you're gonna, you're gonna tell me I have a small like well, it's been three years? Yeah, you know you've been with me all this time. You, now compla- you, like, small dick. you know what yeah. I mean? So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know That's if that really makes sense. But oh, I did want to ask you: um, Has there ever been an instance? Because you had said earlier how um, <gasps> if you don't know, like it, when your partner's at their lowest, is usually like when you see who they really are, yeah. right? Have you ever? Maybe not with your current relationship, but any other relationship that you had that everything seemed fine or everything was going great, and then it hit a point that it got real low, and you were like, "Who the fuck am I dating?" Hmm. Good question. Very good question. No, or I, like you, I, you saw a different side of them that you're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Oh, I like that question though. It's um. No, because um. You know, the, re- the relationship that I was in at the time was, it wasn't, because that would require for things to be very drastic from one thing to the next, right? Like, but what I've experienced, what I've been used to is, like, there was so much, like, 
bad where it just kind of meshed all in together. It just kind of felt like that was like the normal thing. Like it just all constantly fighting, arguing. So it wasn't like I was shocked. Like I just rather realize I didn't realize that that's not how a relationship's supposed to be like. A relationship's not supposed to be this difficult. So then uh, there was never like a a wake up call where I was like, fuck. I I guess the wake up call was when the relationship was already over and you realized and when I was with somebody else and you realized this is not really supposed to be like this. Okay. You know? But in it, w- while I was with this person, there was no monumental experience when I was like, oh, fuck, like, who the fuck is this person? Because I was so enmeshed with this person that it just kind of infatuated that I just didn't even realize all the red flags and all the really? warnings. Yeah, so it's like, imagine you're no, looking at No, but in hindsight, wall. like, in hindsight, though, like, looking back, like, is it, was there <sighs> never an instance that you're like, yo, like, that was... That was a little out there. I'll yeah. give you an, I'll give yeah, you a, yeah. a, a slight example. Sure. So I remember there was an issue that um, with one of my exes, we were fine, and it it almost felt like too good to be true. Like we we're like, damn, like this is a really nice relationship. Like, dude, she, she was really pretty, and and I was able to get her, and then she was like, oh my god, I'm with you. Like she saw me the way I saw her. I'm like, yo, weird. So whatever, we were there, we were dating, and and there was like issues with exes, bro, especially on her part. Like she, I I, I guess she never really like like, closed the doors to her exes. Mm-hmm. So they were always just, like, lingering. Roaming around. And it's funny, because, like, fast forward a couple of years later when we had tried to, like, kind of talk a little again, um, I, s- I noticed that the patterns that I was going through, she was doing to somebody else. And I was, like, the side guy. Like, okay. Oh. So here's the story. Um, I was dating this girl, and... I thought it was good. It was her and I. But then I started hearing stories that she's still talking to her exes or she's still entertaining her exes or she's still doing, like, hanging out. I don't know what the fuck it was. And I'm like, what the fuck? That's weird. I'm always with her. Impossible. Whatever. And then um, there would be instances where something would come up and then I would question her. I'm like, yo, what's up with this? And then she would make me feel like I was... Crazy. Like, it'll be like, oh, here we go. You're here with accusing me of bullshit. Like, yeah, okay. Whatever you want to believe. And I'm like. Fucking gaslighting you. As yeah. fuck. Right? And so the whole time I'm like, you know what? Let me, let me, just my girl, let me try to believe her. Because a part of me was like, dude, I'm always with her too. Like, it's, I don't really see how that would the be things are happening. I, and I, to this possible. day, I still don't know if it's true. I don't know if she was doing it. But I did hear things. Um, but. Fast forward a couple years after that, we had somewhat rekindled. We had, like, talked. Nothing really serious happened, but um, we had hung out, and I would hear. Then there would be guys that would randomly call her at night. And then she she would talk to them the way that she would talk to me. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, really? That's why you're calling me? Or you're drunk? Oh, okay. And then she would hang up like, oh, yeah, he's just calling me. He wishes he was he was with me type shit. And I'm like, damn, I remember being on that side. Uh, like that's when I, like it was it was crazy, and then there was another instance that oh, um I had gone out with her I took her somewhere and then I was taking her back to her place, and some other guy that she used to talk to started blowing up her phone and calling her somehow he got into her apartment complex, and walked by the the outskirts it was on the first floor just like this and walked by like you know your backyard how you have just like your yeah dick. and it's like he walked by and he saw me with her we were just there like just ch- like ch- chilling i was like, on a couch we were just talking but i guess he saw me there and they started blowing her up and it's like oh you're with viera all these things like i can't believe that you're with this guy like we're literally like like we're talking like what do you what's this guy doing at your place and she's there like no you're delusional like i already told you i cut the shit off like you just you won't leave me alone and I'm like, dude, I remember being on that side. What a psychotic bitch, dude. Yeah, I remember being on that side. And, you know, and God bless her. She's in a healthy relationship now. I hope that the guy that she's with isn't experiencing any of these things. I hope that she grew out of that. If it, if it was even a thing. Just for me, I noticed that pattern because I was on that side when I was with her originally the first time where she would just be like, I guess, gaslighting me, telling me like, no, like, you're, you're crazy. Oh, here you are with your thing. Oh, of course, believe whatever you want. Yeah, you and your, and I'm just there like, damn, okay, I guess I'm going crazy. And then fast forward after when I was just the guy that was showing up, right? Like the side guy. And then yeah. it was a main guy. She was talking to the main guy. Literally with me there. Like on the phone. Telling the guys the same. She was talking to him the same way that she oh, would talk to wild me. What a bitch. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, dude. And you know what's funny? This is going to be pretty bad. Um, One of the guys that called her, 
in the middle of the night is who she's actually with right now. Oh, fuck. Like, seriously, with. And it's it's funny because that night I'm like, yo, what's up with that? Oh, and it's funny because then the day after that I that, that happened, I had gone out and and I just ran into her at like some outing. It was like a place in Berkel. And I saw her with that same guy. Uh-huh. Same guy. She told me, oh, this guy wishes he was with me. I was like, whatever. And I see that they're dancing. And I'm like, oh, whatever. It's dancing, which is the salsa thing that we can probably talk about, too. Because remember, you're like, oh, salsa a little bit too much. But yeah, whatever. Yeah. She starts dancing with him. There's good music going on, whatever. And then I see that he goes and he kisses her. And the whole time, she's like, hey, like, come hang out with me. Like, I want to be with you. So like, was texting you that? She was texting me that. Like, oh, like, hey, come wow. here. Like, I saw you. Like, why don't you hang out with me? And then I see that he kissed her. And I'm like, yo, I just saw you kiss this dude. And she's like, oh, my God, I know. I told him that it was super fucked up, that he shouldn't have done that. I don't even know why he did that. What a psycho, dude. Fast forward a few weeks after that, I'm there talking to some other chick, whatever. Like, I just cut that shit off with her, and I'm there, whatever, talking. And she goes, oh, yeah, she's dating this guy now. And I'm like, what? Who is she dating? And she goes, yeah, this the same guy. So I remember texting her, and I'm like, yo, who is this guy dating, by the way? And she goes, Me. Why? And I'm like, yo, didn't you fucking tell me that this guy, like, wishes and he was trying and all this bullshit and, and that you wouldn't give him the time of day and now you guys are now you guys are dating? She goes, oh, but that was such a long time ago. So, like... That is crazy. It's so, never happened. So, like that happened yeah, you've, been, you've had to have fucking normal relationships, dude. I've had fucking... <coughs> Psychotic, I've dude. been on roller coasters and yeah. shit. And, like, that's why, like, for me, like... Whenever I hear stories of, of women complaining about men being dirtbags, like, look, I get it. Because I used to be a dirtbag, too. I know we exist. But I never really knew that dirtbag women existed, too. So for women to be like, oh, all these things, and we can do all this bullshit, like, fuck you, dude. Like, there's a lot of bad versions of women out there, too. And I think that you guys should be called out on your bullshit. Because, like, dude, I've experienced that shit. And I'm like, dude, I, I, I mean, now, obviously... We've grown out of it. We're adults sure. now, and, and, and I feel like everybody does. But there's a stage that everyone goes through, like, they're bullshit. And it's like, bro, don't think that you're, like, better than anybody because everyone goes through that stage of being a bu- <sighs> some, some bullshit. You yeah. know? And I had to experience that shit. And, and, yeah, dude, it was just one of those moments, and I'm like, yo, who is this person? And yeah. then fast forward is when I realized that, oh, this is who she was. And it was in front of me the whole time. You've never had some I've fucking issue where you're, like... Nothing on that. Oh, on that I caught it. I remember you had told me something about, like, with your your ex that it was like um i think that was it that she had moved on and she yeah, didn't tell you or you yeah. caught something oh. or she told you well yeah like this was when i this must have been like 10 years ago because i started this was when i started like at the airport so i, I dated this girl and uh, i guess we were exclusive we were very young i must have been like in my early <coughs> 20s she was i think a year or two younger than me a year or something like that and so we were dating for a little bit Ooh. Dating for a little bit, started a new job, schedule got all mixed up, and and, and that was always working overnight, whatever. We didn't really see each other. And then the relationship, it was it was just early dating stages, but exclusive, right? So, but then it just kind of like fazzled out, I guess. And uh, from one thing to the next, I think someone sent me a, she was like, she posted like a picture of the, it with her and that guy uh, on a couch uh, hanging out. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I remember exactly when I saw I, the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My heart dropped out because I was on the phone with someone. And, my, and I saw the picture and they're like, yo, what the fuck? So I, I had reached out to them. I'm like, yo, like, I, what the fuck is going on? Like, that we're seeing each other, whatever. And her excuse was like, oh, like, we were kind of broken up pretty much. Like, w- things were rocky. And we were kind of like, it was like kind of like phasing out. But we were still like together. At least needed an explanation or like some type of like farewell. Never really happened. So then... For you to just post another guy at your crib, that's crazy. Uh-huh. So, so did you guys talk? At the, no, face to face. No, no like <laughs> I was like, yo, fuck you, you like, stupid bitch, <coughs> some fucked up shit. But like we kind of just kind of that's it. So that there was wasn't it. any interaction. Like it wasn't like a uh, oh by the way, like yeah. Or there was no official like close. There was no closure. So we just kind of like I saw I saw the picture, and and uh, I was fucking furious. I had. Blew up her phone, like, you know, what the fuck, how could you do this shit to me, da 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 Like, embarrassing, and, and just, like, I don't know, putting me on the spot like that. Like, people knew that we were seeing each other, and then you're going to post another guy that's not me? Like, that was crazy. Yeah, for, like, one one day to the next time. Yeah, from one, and I had no idea. Like, I didn't even see it coming. I guess kind of, now that I'm thinking about it, I guess that was kind of wild. 
<laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? Funny enough, so later on, we kind of rekindled and we started dating again. Right. And then we were together for actually like almost two years. Oh. Yeah, we, we rekindled. Things were, you know, we she apologized, different space, whatever. That was like my first real girlfriend. Like I was early 20s at the time too. Um, and I wish her all the best now. But that was you know, <coughs> unfortunate that that happened. But that was like one of those moments like, wow, what the hell? But I guess, you know, uh, I guess when you're that young, um, you know, fucked up shit happens, you know. But we, funny how life works. We kind of found our way back, had a good relationship for the most part, didn't end up working out, and we show all the best, you know. But, yeah, that was kind of crazy. I think that's the I importance that. of um, having <coughs> a little bit of experiences like that because think about it. If you've never had any sort of, like, bad experience in dating – you probably would have just married the first person that comes along your way because you think every relationship is good. You know what I mean? True, true, true. No, right? You never know what real, what bad really is, you know? And obviously, we've been in conversations and we've had a lot of people on and we've read a lot and we know about yeah. you know, how bad things can get. We've had divorce attorneys, uh, uh, relationship coaches, whatever. So we've seen. But it's like I feel like now we're in a much healthier space to welcome healthy relationships. I love that. Let me ask you this, just kind of like a, a close off. Yeah, right. close off crazy question. If you, because now you're in a healthy relationship with with your lovely girlfriend. Yes, thank you. You got together for a little bit now, whatever. Um, if you could go back in time and essentially erase your past dating history and just meet your current partner. By the time, let's say you're 18, you meet her, and you guys just, because this is the one, presumably, right? This is the one. Okay. You know? Yeah. Would you do that? Let's say there's a, a flip, you can switch. And uh, essentially, the past ten something years of your life, of your dating history, because you said you had some crazy experiences, whatever. Let's say somebody comes, yeah, you can make this all go away, and you just meet your current partner. What would, would that solve? It just the past kind of bullshit that you kind of had to go through. It would be with your current so partner. So now, I if guess. I can go back in time, do I still know those experiences, or I'm completely like a man in black? Man in black. It out. So I'm wiping it out. it out. Wiped it out, and you just meet her. It'll and uh, it's very tough to answer that because w- I wouldn't I wouldn't be me. You wouldn't be Christian Vieira. You know I wouldn't be me. But you know, but for me, you know, it might be a little bit different though because <laughs> I've had a crush on her since kindergarten. So there were some experiences that you guys exchanged, even but dude. but no, I'm talking about past because you guys have had a little thing during yeah, college. In college, in college, we right. tried. Yeah, that's when we had recast. She didn't remember me. She just thought I was oh this guy's hot. Yeah. When I was like shit, this is her. Because right. I knew her, I remembered her from, from elementary school. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, that's, yeah. that's the same girl. And it wasn't, and it, it was a few years before that moment in college, it was in high school, that my friend was showing me a picture of, like, him with his friends at, like, someone's house or whatever. And I'm like, is that this girl? Yeah. And he goes, yeah, that's her. And I'm like, dude, I went to elementary school. <laughs> I had seen what she looked like after so many years. And I'm like, that way is the same girl. Like, she, she just has the same face. Like, obviously, more mature. She's a woman now. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, it's her. So when I saw her in college, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. No way. Is it? That's, that's her yeah. right in front of me. And she saw me as just some good-looking guy at that point. Right, right, you know? right. Um, so for me, to answer your question, to go back to 18, dude, perhaps. Really? May- maybe. Maybe. I think, I think that those experiences and those crazy fucking things that we go through kind of shape us into who we are i so i say, also yeah. agree with that so it's like if you can't have the good without having the bad so yeah you could say well it was traumatizing devastating at the moment it probably sucked a lot of those experiences right yes but to erase them <clears throat> but they have dude like there's never wh- what is there's like a saying that it's like there's never a good a good story without like a, a bad i forgot what the saying is but it's like I have learned so much about myself and how to yeah. overcome bad yeah. because I've had to deal with bad. Right. So it isn't until you experience something and learn yourself how to cope, how to grieve, how to accept, how to embrace, how to mourn, how to mourn purge. You, gotta, mm. you feel it, get it out of your yeah, system. Because yeah, a lot of people, they like to avoid shit. Oh, yeah. brush it under the rug or I don't want to deal with it. But it's like, bruh, <clears throat> go through it, feel it. Get a, like move get on, it out of yeah, on. move on. Yeah. And then I think that because it's almost like a little scar, bro. Like you look down at it, like damn, I went through this. Like you know, it's almost like like I like I overcame this. Yeah. If I overcame this, bro, I I can handle a lot more. For sure, if for I was sure. able to heal, what I thought one yeah. day would be like, oh my god, I'm gonna die if like, this person yeah. never replies to me. Now it's like, all right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what you'll I mean? be okay. So, but I had to go through 
points of not being replied to and feel like, oh, I'm so lonely. Why am I feeling this way? I feel like a little bitch. <laughs> to them be like, dude, yeah. I'm not a bitch. I'm just, she just doesn't want to talk to me. Yeah, <laughs> you know, exactly. It is what it is. So I think like that's where the experience comes in and where it's like I needed. Mm-hmm. So to answer your question, like back then, maybe I wouldn't have been ready. Because yeah. I didn't, I still didn't have that. Oh, if I'm with you, uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I need to wait a little bit. No. <laughs> we're going to get them hit. But, right. you know, I think it is what it is. I feel like we're in a better position now. And given that we're both now uh, two exceptional gentlemen, I think, um, to our to our significant others. I think, we are. I think we're in a much better position today. I feel like we're both very fortunate mm. um, to be with the people. Very lucky, are. especially in Miami. Especially in Miami. And not for nothing, I think they're very fortunate as well. I think it's a mutual benefit that we are. Uh, yeah. yeah. It, th- if anything, they make they motivate me, or she does, and also her, bro. Not for nothing, because you as a, because I feel like you're one of you know really close cohort of mine. I feel like uh, as as your boy and, and a representation of your friendship and and, and our relationship. Oh, even your senorita motivates me too, because I see how she motivates you, and that motivates me. Oh, wow, we all motivate each other. Oh, motivated family. That's man. why you gotta be surround yourself with people that share the same likes and interests and desires and goals as you do absolutely radiates off of them Very and that's what we're all about so yeah. with that being said ladies and gentlemen thank you for tuning in find yourself a healthy relationship and run away from those that are bad for you and the ones that call you you have a small thing or something or that you lose it's not something everybody even yeah don't yeah don't don't, don't do it with those people <laughs> don't say that don't say <laughs> that's that that's kind of fucked up <laughs> thank you so much guys thanks guys ciao